fail the other. I'm doing some um um my ability tai chi, but this is my Make sure this you is gentle slow from one stuff, but it's really good for the um getting the body you know moving. Now the hand comes stuff, up, like thin Chinese and wind. Really the palm like faces out up top, and the other hand pushes along the bottom. These movements are great for the legs, ankles, shoulders. Help soften the joints. The leg comes in and the hands come down resting on the table. Next move, I was the over the move. drum. Step out with your left leg, palms face each other, keep it about head width apart with your hands. As you go forward, the hands float over top of the drum and slowly come around and form a circle coming back. Make sure you keep the palms of your hands facing each other through the whole move. This will help build up a polarity of energy between your palms. As you go forward, you're exhaling. As you come back, you're inhaling. Leg comes in and the hands rest on the table. Palms face each other again. Step out two o'clock with the right leg over the drum. This move will help benefit your legs and shoulders and help with your balance. You may feel a slight tingling in the hands or a warmth in the hands. That means that chi is circulating through your body. Leg comes in, hands rest on the table. <laughs> Next movement is ball to the mountain. Palms open out. Step out with the left leg at 10 o'clock and the hands float up to form a ball in front of your face. As the body moves back, the hands come down to the waist, break open, gather chi, pull it back up to the mountain. Try to make sure that the hands are not touching when you go up to the top. Keep a little space between your hands. The hands come back, rock and forward. Exhaling. Inhale. Leg comes in, hands rest on the table. Palms open again. Step out with the right leg at two o'clock. Body moves forward and the hands float up to the top. Body moves back and the hands come down. Exhaling, going forward. Inhaling, coming back. Again, you're working your legs, arms, shoulders, wrists, posture. A multitude of benefits are happening with the move. Leg comes in, the hands circle around and rest on the table. Next movement, ball to the valley. Doing hands float ball up ball to the, the shoulders. Belly. Step forward, Can left leg at 10 o'clock and hands circle down to form a ball below the navel. Pull the ball up towards your neck, open gently, float back down. Again, do not let the hands touch. You want to build a polarity of energy between the hands and get the circulation flowing throughout the body. You're exhaling, inhaling, coming back. And this can all be done through your nose. You don't have to use any exhaling through the mouth. Inhaling, and the leg comes in, hands rest on the table. Mm -hmm. Arms float up to the shoulders, step out the right leg at two o'clock, the hands circle down again to form a ball and slowly pull it up. Exhaling as you go forward, inhaling, coming back. The benefits are very similar to what we just did before, helping the whole body. Inhaling, bring the leg in, exhaling as the hands float down. Next move is single whip. The 
right hand floats up to form a crane hook. All your fingers are touching your thumb. Single lips. Step out with the left leg, push the left hand out. Rock back, rock and forward. Rock back, leg comes in, hands come down softly. Crane hook with the left hand. Bring it across the face, and the right hand makes a twist in the wrist and step out. Rock and back. Exhaling as you go forward. Inhaling, coming back. Leg comes in and down. Make a crane hook with the right hand again. Move it to the side. Step out with the left leg. Single whip to the left. Rock and back. Exhaling forward. Inhaling, coming back. Hands come down. Left hand make a crane hook, comes across the face, the right hand steps out, single whip again. Leg comes in, hands come down. Right hand makes a hook, twist around, step out. Exhaling, rocking back, inhale. Exhaling forward, inhaling back, leg comes in. Step out. The benefits here are great for the hand and fingers. Works your legs and arms and helps with mental clarity. Next move is focus the arrow. Step out with the left leg to the side. Hands come up. Push to the left. Make a fist with the right hand. Pull across the face and then release. Hands come down. Left hand will touch the right hand, push gently out. Make a fist with the left hand, pull across the face, and release. Hands come down again. Touch with the right hand, pushing, and pull. Breathe in one side, exhale the other. Find a spot that works for you. Pull. This will benefit your chest, your arms, your shoulders, and your lungs. And always work in the legs. Leg comes in and the hands rest on the table. Next move is push from the shoulders. Hands come up to the shoulder level. Step out of the left leg. Push the left hand out slowly. Rock back, push the right hand out. Always keep a little reserve in your elbow when you're pushing out. Don't lock the arm straight out. Exhale on one side, inhale and coming back. This is a great benefit for the waist, the back, the shoulders, and the arms. Leg comes in, hands come down. Hands float up to the shoulders again. Step with your right leg at 2 o'clock. Push the right hand out. And the left. Again, leave a little reserve in the elbow. Don't lock the arm out. Exhaling as your weight goes forward. Inhaling as your weight comes back. Leg comes in and the hands rest on a table. Next movement, waves of the universe. Step forward with the left leg, hands chest high, push towards the floor, and let the wrists unhinge, float back. Pushing down, the wrists unhinge, and gently float back. Exhaling as you're going forward, inhaling, coming back. Exhale, inhale. Leg comes in and the hands rest on the table. Step with the right leg out, push towards the floor, unhinge and roll back. 
This will benefit your wrists, your legs, your shoulders, your arms. Exhale and forward. Inhale back. Light comes in. Rest the hands on the table. Next move is parting a horse's mane. Left Two hand faces up by your belly button, right hand on top, mane. step out and left leg, and when the left hand to... floats up about shoulder I height, to comes touch. back. Floating up shoulder height, gently come back. Exhaling as you go forward, inhaling as you come back. Exhaling as you rock back, your toes come up. Leg comes in, hands come down. The right palm turns up, the left palm on top. Step out, right leg, two o'clock. Float the right hand, shoulder height up. Come back. Make sure the left hand is facing down as the right hand is facing up. Exhaling, going forward. Inhaling, coming back. This will benefit your whole body, your legs, your shoulders and arms, and help you with your balance. Leg comes in, hands float down. Next movement is brush knee. Right hand comes up, the left hand turns out. Brush knee. <laughs> Step out with the left leg 10 o'clock and pretend you're brushing your knee and pushing at the same time. Both hands move as one. Toes come up, coming back. Exhaling, going forward. Inhaling, coming back. Stay with a nice rhythm. This will help you with your focus. Left hand will float up. Right hand turns out. Step out with the right leg, two o'clock. Brush, knee, push. Both hands move as one again. Exhaling, going forward, inhaling, coming back. Toes come up, coming back. This is a great exercise for mental clarity, besides helping the whole body. Next move is hit the tiger. Make two fists, step out with the left leg to the side, and shift. Fists open up, come back, cross your wrists, Step with the right leg to the side. The right hand will be by the forehead, the left hand by the chest. Come back in, cross the wrist. Step with the left leg to the side. Double fists again. Left fist is high, right fist is below. Come in, cross the wrist. Step to the other side. Coming in, cross the wrist again. Exhale, go on one side. Inhale, coming back. Exhale. Inhale. Hands come up and the hands come down. Cross the wrists and press. Next move is snake's tongue. <laughs> Step with the left leg to the side. Your right foot comes into a T and your left hand goes out on an angle. Make a fist circle around and punch. Hands open, step with the right leg. Oh the left foot comes hand. into a T and the right hand. Please push both push hands out, turn them over, one. pulling them back. Exhaling as you go forward. I, I know. Inhale and coming back. A slight dip with the hands, so like a little curve, and pull back. Imagine you're moving through heavy air. Light comes in, hands rest. Hands float up to the chest, step two o'clock, pushing both hands out gently and back. So you're pushing, exhaling, inhaling, coming back. Notice I turn my hands over so my palms face me coming back. Just 
It's a great meditative movement. Leg comes in and the hands rest. The next move is hands waving clouds. Hands waving clouds. The left hand floats out. It gently floats down past the waist. It comes up by the chest, step with the left leg to the side, shifting the weight slightly, switching the hands, shift the weight to the right side. The waist turns again slightly, shifting the hands and gliding. So the body is actually pulling the arms along. And make sure you transfer the weight from one leg to the other. Your head can follow the top hand and that'll work the neck muscles. You're breathing in one side, you're exhaling the other. This is one of the most popular Tai Chi moves. Leg will come in, the hands will rest. The final movement is lotus flower closing. Step out with your left leg to the side, palms open. Inhale as you bring your hands up, gathering the life force. Exhale, bring it to your heart. Inhale as you open the lotus flower. Exhale as you close the flower. Inhale as you extend your arms out to the universe. Exhale as you share peace and blessings with the world. Left leg comes in and peace. I hope you liked that. That was some mobility Tai Chi.